Hello and welcome to Shine Dubai, our series dedicated to highlighting inspirational and empowering women in the community. Now today's guest is leading the field in science and innovation. We meet with the Emirati woman who is pioneering the Emirates to Mars space mission. Yes, Sarah Miri is the new face of scientific research and alongside her team, she's launching us into the future. So Sarah, as leader of the science team for the Emirates Mars mission, first of all, we want to talk a little bit about your personal journey into science and indeed in space. Yeah. So I started off at the Mohammed Rashid Space Center as a software engineer, not as a person with a, with a background in science. And I started as a software developer on both the Dubai Sat 1 and Dubai Sat 2 missions. Those two missions are, of course, our um, first Earth, orbiting, Earth observation satellites that were developed in conjunction with the UAE engineers and our partners in South Korea. I've been right now about seven years at the Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center and the Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center has been around for about 10 years. So we've got 10 years experience in the area of space development. And from there I went on to uh, develop various new functionalities and, and um, new concepts that we have at the organization from the research and development and then I started working on um, advanced aerial systems and I set up that program uh, where we had a successful flight trial of a pseudo satellite it's actually an unmanned aerial vehicle that was uh, that flies in the stratosphere very close to space right where you start seeing the edge of space and for about a year to two years now I've been working on the Emirates Mars mission I was part of the first team that actually worked on the feasibility study of that mission and I'm now transitioned into science. Like a female pioneer in this field, what drives you personally? What is it that you love about these fields? They're, they're the cutting edge um, of technology, first off. And space science is something that's quite mesmerizing, if I can only say that. It's an infinite field of understanding and knowledge that we still haven't even tapped a fraction of. Mm -hmm. And that's what fascinates me about it. I also um, I also really love um, the spread of science and technology and the understanding of science and technology here in the UAE and this is what part of my mission within the Emirates Mars mission and the HOPE uh, mission is to actually work on developing and further widening, widening the, the area. Where exactly are you at with the Emirates Mars mission in terms of the innovation? At what stage now um, can, we, can we see and can we hear about? So the stage that we've, we've successfully completed is actually defining what the mission is about. What is the science behind the mission? We did that in a very small amount of time. What we aim to do with this mission is to actually study the planet in a new way that hasn't been studied before. Because there's really no point of sending a, a probe or a spacecraft to Mars, but not providing scientists around the world with new data that they never had access to before. Um, and therefore, uh, what we looked to find is a, a mission that provided novel science, provided data that has not been collected around Mars before and worked really hard on, on, on being able to place the mission as such. When's it going to happen? So the mission will be launched in, 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 so about five years from now, we don't have a lot of time, time is, is running pretty fast, so in June, in June, July 2020 is a launch opportunity and what's interesting to say is that the launch opportunity to Mars occurs only once every two years and our Mars mission is going to study um, for the first time the complete um, atmosphere of Mars and different layers of the atmosphere, the reasons for escape of hydrogen and oxygen and trying to link and understand how does the weather on Mars affect that. In terms of, of developing teams for this kind of you know groundbreaking research, what would you say to get more women to be involved, more Emirati women specifically, to get involved in science and innovation? I'm actually really happy to say that out of the seven, so, so our science team is made up of people from around the world, from different entities even here in the UAE, but I'm really happy to say, and this is this is of course by, it's not, it's not something that happened, but what happened is that um, out of the seven science team members, five of them are women, and they're there because um, they're the best at what they do. The best in their field. It's a wonderful time of exploration in every field. Sarah, thank you so much. Thank Such you. a pleasure. Thank pleasure you. is mine. Groundbreaking work and an Emirati icon of science. Now, remember, if you do have an inspiring story or if you'd like to nominate a woman who is influencing society, please get in touch. You can contact us at news at city7tv.com. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.